when I was at primary school we had this <laughs> assignment kind of task thing that we did once where we had to draw our sort of dream house and mine was up high, sort of like in a tree. <laughs> it was sort of suspended on poles and it was several stories high and to get up a level you had to um, climb a ladder I think and then to get down you went down a slide. Um, oh no a fireman's pole. Oh maybe there was both. Probably both. <laughs> yeah but I'd love to have a fireman's pole in my house and I'd love my house to be in a tree. Still, you know like things don't change. Um, so yeah, I'm just hanging out in this tree, seeing what the real estate market's like. Probably afford half of it, just a small patch of tree. Mm. Um, so I read the newspaper today for the first time in quite a while and yeah, it doesn't seem to matter what country you're in, newspapers still... Oh, so poorly written, I don't like it, but in terms of what's actually being written about, you know, they're very informative, and I was reading this article about contraband in prison in the Vancouver area, and the prison that had the most contraband confiscated from its inmates within a certain time frame was the maximum security prison, and the official statement on this was like, something along the lines of, um, oh, well, you know, they're the most violent criminals, so, of course, they have more weapons and things on them. But it's a maximum security prison. So, how did the contraband get in there in the first place? It just makes them look really bad and really stupid that they're like, well, of course there's higher levels of this happening in the maximum security prison. Oh. <laughs> didn't make sense at all in my mind. Um, yeah. Then again, they might not understand the mind of someone who wants to live in a tree, so...